Hello, Taurus. Welcome to your Beware the Lovers with a Sting reading. This is for the lover who left you feeling stung. You know, the one you might refer to as the jerk. <laughs> oh, say hi to George. I keep forgetting about introducing him to people. So, we're going to ask some questions. How do they feel about you now? How do they think you see them? And what's the future for you two? Surprisingly enough, Aries, it was a interesting reading. It was like this person just was like really wanted them back. Okay, anyway, so let's see. Do, do, do. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. Huh? Let's see. Let's just get, just get an opening card for Taurus. <laughs> wow, the hangman. So there's a certain amount of uh, looking at it from different uh, perspectives, this uh, person. Now, what I find interesting is that he's not really even hung. There's a, a rope around his ankle, but it almost looks like an anklet, and it looks like he's kind of just laying there. And what's really interesting is I noticed that if you see here, the imprint almost looks like a smaller version of him right there. And he appears to be almost looking at it. Uh, interesting. Let's get, let's clarify the hangman card for this relationship. Because for some of you Torians, this may be the fact that you guys are in a relationship, but you're taking a break and trying to see, you know, what you want to do. So let's clarify the hangman card for Taurus. Clarify the hangman card for Taurus. The Three of Cups. Hmm. So, to me, this says that you're trying to see what if it was fun? <laughs> I hate to say that. Like, what if you were enjoying yourself? The Three of Cups is a card of uh, being with others, partying, having a good time. And kind of looks like you're imagining what would it be like to have fun. So this person may have stung you, but I don't know that you were actually enjoying yourself with them, which is kind of sad. So how do you, how do they feel about you now? Because apparently you are on a break. This is, and if this doesn't resonate, check your rising sign or your Venus sign. They may resonate better. Okay, so how do they feel about you now? Wow, the magician. So they believe that you are capable, Taurus, of having whatever you want. So this to me implies that you could have them or you could have anyone else. So they must think very highly of you. So I like it. So you are a, they must think you're an awesome manifester. Or just really look good looking. <laughs> so, and how do they think you see them now? How does the person who left you feeling stung think you see them? How do they think you see them? Sorry, the cards are sticking together terribly. The Six of Wands. This is victorious. I mean, look at that. He's got it. They're, cheer they're cheering him on. He's got food. Look at him. So this person sees you as uh, victorious, as a winner. Oh, wait. This is how they think you see them. So they think that you... I'm sorry. <laughs> this all this back and forth gets a little confusing. I apologize. So they think you see them as a winner, possibly as the breadwinner, because he is holding up the, the animal, which in this time would be, you know, eaten. So, hmm, wow. So they think highly of you, but they also think highly of themselves, Taurus. So let's see, what's the future for you two? What's the, 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 the possible future for you two? Okay, possible future for Taurus and the stinging person. Here we go with the multiple cards again. The Hermit. 
Wow. So the future for you guys, you started out with the hangman, you end with the hermit. So to me, this is a relationship that's just going to, I don't know. I'm going to clarify it because to me, you're looking at it from different points of view. And then you're looking, it's like you're looking at the relationship and then you're looking within. So to me, this is a lot of contemplation. Let's clarify the hermit. Could be me that they are a uh, Virgo. So let's see, clarify the hermit for Taurus. The star could be Aquarius. So you're gonna look inside. And now if you notice with the hermit card, the light, the lantern that he holds symbolizes looking outside. Not outside, I'm sorry, inside. I was noticing that she's looking outside to this light. So he's looking inside to see. I'm drawn to the sigh, which to me is always like the symbol of the Grim Reaper, which is an ending. But then you have the star. The star is about pouring forth creativity and you know, healing. And look at that. So she's opened up Pandora's box. And look at, there's bees, there's dragonflies. But there's also this beautiful woman that's there. So, I think that when you look inside, I think you release all the negativity, which to me would be the bees. And you free the good stuff too. And you start to see the good stuff in you. So this to me would say that you are the magician and that you can have what you want, but it's because you're gonna go within. Whether the relationship is gonna last or not, that doesn't seem to be answered by the cards. So I'm going to get you a romance angel card now, Taurus. We're gonna see what the romance angel card says. The Romance Angel card says, Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, I guess as the magician, if you want it, you just have to attract it. So that to me means that if you want this person, if you want this relationship, you can. But it's a choice. That seems to me like you have a lot of control over it. So, Taurus, let's end with the spellcasting oracle cards because they always make me think the little cover was a little creepy. Where is it? You know? So, and it is Halloween weekend. So, let's get to a spellcasting oracle card. Oh, my goodness. Reconciliation. Okay, then. So, if you look inside and you think that there is a, this is a good, uh, partnering then the best of luck to you i wish you the best pretty cool thank you very much for being here taurus don't forget to like share and subscribe and good luck to you bye